Good afternoon everybody, this is Dominic from the NRL22. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create squatting and how to show folks and squad individuals themselves after they have signed up for your match. So once you're in practice score, you're going to go underneath your club. And then you're going to go ahead and go scroll down underneath manage. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on edit schedules and squads. This will allow you to create the actual squads themselves. Um, you can give each squad a name or you can just simply put squads. How many shooters do you want in a squad? That's all dependent on how many shooters you want to put in a squad based off of how you're, how you're going to run your match. So we can put 10 in here, squad starting number. I always start mine off with one and your squad size will be again dependent on how many total squads you're going to be running. So in this case, let's say we can put squad size will be 10, but total squads will have five. And then now what you're going to do is create your schedule. What this does, it allows your shooters to go ahead and squad once they've registered for your match. Another feature you can do is you can allow folks to waitlist. This is really helpful when you're doing an NRL 22X match um, or if you are a larger club, it allows you to still have folks waitlist on here as well. Once you're done creating the schedule and folks have already signed up or they eventually sign up, what you're going to do is if you need to physically squad them, you're going to go ahead and click on uh, manage squatting and you can just type in their names or what you can do is you can go to manage view and approve shooters and then right here on these drop downs you can just select which squad you want them in so let's say john smith we're going to go ahead and put john in squad one and now it shows john in squad one okay Put Little Doe in Squad 2, and then so on and so forth. Okay. Now what you can do, again, go back to your squads, and you can actually view everyone there. So you can manage squads from here, and this will kind of give you a quick snapshot of where people are. So let's say you wanted to move Mike to squad one. You can either do that on the manage side or you can just type in Mike Smith right here. It automatically pulls him over. Mike Smith is already in squad one. Would you like to move this shooter to squad two? You can go ahead and move them and notify them via email or just move them. So it's perfectly up to you. And that's how you squad folks 